it's maybe a little bit more scary until you get into it, but the climbing's easier outdoors, I think. <laughs> Mum and Dad were of into climbing, walking and scrambling um, in Wales, Scotland, the Lakes, Peak District. Um, and then Mum got back into indoor climbing. And then so we started going indoors lots when I was about eight. Uh, and then got into competitions and everything. Because Mum didn't want to teach us how to uh, try to climb. So she sent us off on this course at Plassey Brennan when I was about 14. And that was like an introduction to leading or something. I think it was about four days. Ah, oh, chalk. We'd climb in pairs and then we'd have an instructor and they were sort of hung next to you while you were going, so it was really good. Because you'd be, it wouldn't be as scary. I went to Traumatic for one day. Some days we went up into the mountains a bit more. Um, the route I remember doing was one step in the clouds. That was really good. I was really proud of doing that at the time. Um, yeah, and it's just really good. Like we had a laugh with our instructor, and definitely wasn't like being in school. It was good. But, I mean, up to that point, we'd always seconded multi-pitch routes and just stuff that's damaged. Perfect. <laughs> I also thought I'd like put my wires in and then just sort of like leave them in the crack. I wouldn't actually pull them in, so I'd just like hook them in. And then he was like, no, no, you need to like prop or pull it down. That's like the main thing that I remember from that course. So now I'm always like, ah. It's definitely a big difference going from leading indoors to trad climbing outdoors, um, but in a good way. It's more, I know, it's more skills involved, so it's a bit more interesting. You just gotta, you gotta build up into it, go somewhere where you feel comfortable, and then gradually push your comfort zone because it's. There's quite a lot of technical elements to go in traditional climbing, so you've got to do it in an environment that you're comfortable with. Um, and yeah, just so when you do do something stupid, it's easy, easier to sort out anyway. You do stupid things like forget your belay plate and then you get to the top and it was okay because someone could run around and give you a belay plate. Uh, or, I, th I think one of the first trad routes I did, I put a wire in and then just left my whole set of wires on the ledge and then carried on. Then I was like, oh no. <laughs> I don't know, I just love being outdoors. Um, just because it's more of a more of an adventure sort of even if you're just staying locally you know you still got to take all your stuff with you and it's still you always seem to have like a little mission or a little epic or something throughout the day and th that's what I mean like you've got to have so much experience so that you know when you get to the, cr the crack like oh yeah that's a number whatever and put that in but I'm still always just like oh no wrong 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 <laughs> My advice to be uh, to people that were, you know, wanting to get into trad climbing and starting is just to go out and do lots and lots of easy stuff. You learn so much from doing that. 